in the last few videos of this series we were talking about fields and I'm just going to do one more quick video about them uh, since the functionality I'm going to show you in this video is actually very powerful and I know that you will find a use for it so I'm just going to show it to you so what we're going to be doing is called field relationships so we're going to make a field that has a relationship to something so let's say to another type of content actually we're going to copy this functionality right here so as you can see on IMDB we have this movie inception and then you have stars their actors on our site and uh, there are links actually so if you click on Leonardo DiCaprio it takes you to the page of that actor so let's try to make similar functionality on our site since our site is also dealing with movies okay so first of all let's just go to our node movies.html.twig and I'm just going to delete this field actors so I'm just going to delete it save this uh, and then we are going to go to structure and right here we are going to create another content type so just like on IMDB this uh, page is we can consider it another content type and its type of vector so <clears throat> I'm going to add another content type call it actors actors and save and manage fields as you can see we have a body field right here we can remove it if we want and of course we have a title field uh, which is mandatory for every content type so you have to have a title for your content type uh, we can of course add some more fields right here so let's see what we have right here so when when the Leonardo DiCaprio was born uh, the description uh, filmography and so on but we're going to keep it simple and just leave it as this so we can have a title field and the description of the actor we are not going to add so many other fields now we just go to content and add new content and I will add an actor and that actor is going to be called Leonardo DiCaprio and this is going to be the description of Leonardo DiCaprio okay save and publish and we will just add two more actors so on inception we have Joseph Gordon Lewitt so we will go to his page go to content right here add another content type actually content so we add another actor the name is Joseph Gordon Lewitt paste his biography okay save and publish and just do the same thing for Ellen Page I think so add content go back right here Ellen Page we can of course uh, we could maybe add uh, another field for the image of the actor but we will keep it simple like this so just Ellen Page okay and copy her biography and paste it in okay save and publish and if we go to our content right now we have three actors and we have several movies okay so right now what we're going to do we have to uh, create the field relationship between actors and these uh, this ac actors content type and our movies so let's see how we can do that we are going to go to structure right now and then just go to content types and manage fields for the movies 
and we have field actors right here so I'm just going to actually delete that field because we want to have a different uh, just delete it we want to have a different uh, type of field uh, for our actors and then just add field okay and now we are going to select a field under this reference right here so I'm just going to select content and the label is going to be actors okay save and continue okay the number of allowed values is going to be unlimited and the type of item to reference is going to stay content but you can reference comments uh, field collection items files uh, you can even uh, reference actions and I don't know content types and so on but I'm just going to leave it as content and save field settings and on this page so we are going to reference method is going to be default or you can use views for that but we are going to leave it as default and this is very important we have to select actors right here so we don't want to we could reference all of the content types we have but we're just going to reference actors and sort by none okay so it's going to be uh, sorted as we enter them so just save those settings okay and now uh, I'm just going to go to our site open it in a new tab we can go to movies and we get the server error right here so this happened to me uh, when I prepared for this video for some reason I really don't know why that is uh, the Drupal deleted my movies view it probably has something to do with uh, uh, with deleting the actors field so let's just quickly create another view for the movies so I'm just going to go to add new view let's refresh our memories and I'm going to call it movies okay uh, create a page for it it's going to be called movies and uh, save and edit now that we have this we are going to show fields fields apply all displays apply and then we are going to uh, we have content titles so we're just going to list the titles of our movies for this one as you can see we're, we are getting all of our content types right here so we don't want that we want to add filter criteria to be a type so content type is going to be movies so we're just going to select this apply all displays and now you can see we have inception and although all of those movies that were created by Devel module and let's just save this okay and if we go right here it should work now okay so we have our movies they don't look super beautiful or anything but we can now go to our inception movie and as you can see we don't have actors right here but we can add them so let's just edit this and we can go down here and as you can see we have a field for adding actors and what's cool about this field is you can just start typing the name of the actor so Leonardo DiCaprio okay add another item we have Joseph Gordon Lewitt okay add another item and we have Ellen Page Ellen Page and that's it save and keep published okay so in the actors field we're going to now copy this and I think the field is called field actress field actors and if we save this 
and refresh the page we should get our actors right here just like on the IMDB page and what's cool about this is is that is automatically linked to the actors page so if we click on Leonardo DiCaprio we would get his page with his description and so on so of course you can <coughs> add another node right here so it would be called like we have a node for movies you can call it node dash dash actors and then you can edit this page and display all the fields that you have on this page for uh, your actors as you can see we did the functionality like they have on IMDB by using this relationship fields in mere minutes so I think that's pretty cool and this comes out of the box with Drupal so that's just wonderful of course you can use those relationship fields in views and so on and you can uh, connect the data on your site whichever way you want by using this functionality so this is it for this video in the next video we are going to be talking about regions as per viewers request uh, we are going to go a little bit more in depth than we did in the episode 4 of uh, this video series so I hope you guys like this video uh, please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook also you can like this video if you liked it uh, you can even subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos and uh, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one